So what is the truth? Give me John 8, 32. What is the truth? Who are we according to God's word? Who is the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American according to what God calls them? John 8, 32. Read what you got. This is the book of John, chapter 8, and verse 32. Read it out. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So what is the truth? What is the truth of the Bible? If you ask five brothers what is the truth, they're going to say, oh, well, my truth is this. They're going to give you their experience. They don't know the Bible. They're not going to give you what thus said the Lord. Give me the truth. Psalms 119, 142. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119, and verse 142. Three. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. God's laws is the truth. Right. This Bible is the truth. This Bible is not a religious book. Right. It's not an all-inclusive book. Right. This Bible is a book of laws, prophecy, history of God's chosen people. The people that God created and set up to be the rulers of this land. That's right. To be the rulers of this world. Who are they today? Give me Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. We're going to find out today. Who is the so-called black, Hispanic, Native Americans in the world today? Why are they on the bottom? Why do we go through so much poverty? Why do we go through so much injustice? Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. Read. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel on this side, Jordan. So Moses is speaking to Israel. Israel was God's chosen, is God's chosen people. Right. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Moses is speaking to the Israelites as they came out of Egypt. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Bring it out. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Huh? The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So God said the Israelites were above all people on the face of the earth. So who is Israel today? Give me Deuteronomy 28, verse 1. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. You're right, verse they are one. God's chosen people, but who are they? What do they look like? Okay, we're going to find out in the Bible. Give me Deuteronomy 28, verse 1. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 1. Read. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So the Most High told Moses to tell the children of Israel, if you hearken and listen to his words, obey and do them, you shall be set on high above all nations. Right. But there was a stimulation. Verse 15. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So curses will come over the children of Israel and overtake them. Let's find out. Uh, give me verse 46. Verse 46. And, and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. So these curses are going to be for a sign to identify who the children of Israel are. Right. They will be upon them for a sign and a wonder. A right. sign is an identifying marker. If you have any wonder or clueless to, in your mind as who the children of God are, these curses will identify who they are. So let's see who fits these curses. What nation of people fit the curses described in Deuteronomy 28, 15 down? Give me verse 16. Bring it out. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 16. Read. Curse shalt thou be in the city, uh -huh. and curse shalt thou be in the field. So one nation of people has been cursed in the city. What nation of people go through the most atrocities in any city throughout the United States? What group of people are cursed and segregated or, or pushed to one corner of a community, of a city, called the ghettos, the slums, where all kinds of crime go on, violence? People, okay, people of poverty, but is all people impoverished? Okay, what about redlining? Zoning. You don't know what that means? Redlining is when you take 
you push a certain group of people to one section of a city. Or, for example, you run a highway through a city of people and divide everyone. Right. South Dallas. How about South Dallas? Where you come through a city, you start redlining it, you start taking poverty, and then you move people out, and then all of a sudden you come and rebuild it, you raise the property tax, raise the value, and then move a whole other group of people in. Gentrification. Gentrification. Right. But who is it happening to? Right. Bring it out. Okay, let's read some more. Give me verse 48. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 48. We're going to stick with the curses to go in depth to identify whose God's chosen people is. Read. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. So the Most High God's chosen people is serving their enemies that he sent against them. Read. In hunger. Uh-huh. And in thirst. Uh-huh. And in nakedness. Stop, stop. In hunger, God's chosen people is serving their enemies. Who owns the majority, if not all, of the main grocery chains, main restaurants, QT, any place that a man wants to go to get food from, what nation of people has to go to another nation of people for their food? Teach up! What's that? We're talking about scripture. My views don't mean nothing. We're talking about scripture. This is what God said. One nation of people goes to another nation of people for water. Who owns the water companies? Who do you get your water bill from? What nation of people have to go to another nation of people for clothing? Continue reading. And in want of all things. In want of all things. If you want an education, what nation of people has to go to another nation of people to be taught education? Right. To be taught how to survive in this land. If you want a birth certificate, death certificate, right. driver's license, right. even religion. Bring it out. What nation of people goes to another nation of people for those things? Right. Let's take it a little bit further in depth. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until uh, he hath destroyed thee. What nation of people had yokes of iron on their necks? What nation of people had to go through an emancipation, right. a proclamation right. for freedom? Right. What nation of people? God's chosen people. That's right. We're going to take a little bit further in depth. Give me verse 68. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 68. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Stop. The Bible says the Lord will bring his chosen people into Egypt again. Now, if we know anything about history, we know that the land of Egypt was conquered by the Greeks under Ptolemy, and he renamed it to Egypt. Egypt means bondage, slavery, house of bondage according to the Bible. Before it was called Egypt, it was Mizraim. So he said, the Lord shall bring thee into bondage or slavery again. Let's see how. With ships. What nation of people went through slavery by way of cargo slave ships? Bring it up. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. What nation of people get told, go back to Africa, but yet they don't know their homeland? Right. Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. What nation of people was put on auction blocks and sold to another nation of people? What nation of people, well, two nations of people shared the same last name. Now we know that can't be possible. Right. Chinese don't share the same last name as Caucasians. Right. right. Japanese don't share the last, same last name as the Arabs. Right. right. So how is it that a so-called black nation share the exact same last name as a so-called Caucasian race? Bring it up. How is that? Could it be possibly be because they were sold and was possessions by way of slavery and took on the plantation's owner's last name? God just identified who his chosen people was right there. Right. He said the curses identify his chosen people. That's right. What nation of people don't have a heritage, a culture? We think BET, 
MTV. Right. We look at the only nation of people that look at rap stars and basketball players, entertainers, right. as leaders. Right. right. Matter of fact, give me that. that uh, let's let's take it in further in depth. Give me that Jeremiah fourteen and two. We're gonna take it another step. We're gonna let the Bible speak today. We're gonna bring the truth to you according to the Bible. Who the black Hispanic and Native American man is today? That's right. Read. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter fourteen and verse two. Read. Judah mourned, and the gates thereof languished. So it says, Judah mourned. If you know any history about the 12 tribes of Israel, Judah was the fourth son of Jacob. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. So, Judah, the word Jew, is short for Judah. Right. Read. They are black. They are what? They are black. They are what? They are black. The so-called black man in America today are the true biblical Jews. That's right. We are God's chosen people. Right. right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.